Hey folks, Korax here. Our Earth is beautiful. It is both majestic and mysterious. It is our only home. We have seen it from up and above. We have taken flights, climbed mountains, and sent rockets. That's the blue marble by NASA. Well, in 2002, Blue Marble 2.0. NASA's Rob Simmons made this. Simmons' job is... It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is. A composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. So we actually had to take clouds out. They stashed the clouds for later, went onto the ocean. Where it was low, I colored it dark blue because they're low mostly in mid-oceans. And then where it was a little bit higher, it was like a little bit brighter green. Then add the clouds back in... There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. So some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. So how does it actually look from as high as we could go? Welcome Professor Augusto Picard, a Swiss physicist, inventor, and explorer. The first man to really see the earth from stratosphere. On May 27, 1931, Dr. Picard and Paul Kipfer took off from Augsburg, Germany in a hot air balloon with his invented gondola and reached a record altitude of 15.8 kilometers, 51,775 feet. During this flight, Picard was able to gather substantial data on the upper atmosphere as well as measure cosmic rays. And what did he see? This was no small feat. Before the advent of modern day NASA, before the internet, before the ah uh, space flights, before the moon landings, a man took the true giant step, a serious leap for mankind. And yet there is no mention of him in our history books. I wonder why. Some of them are our true unsung heroes indeed. Professor Augusto Picard, the man who saw and stated the real thing. Don't follow the hype. Follow your heart. You know the truth.